So, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who watched and left a really good, well thought out comment in the last video. I had a blast reading and going through all of them, and it was one of the most awesome, constructive, and deep comment sections I've ever seen in my entire YouTube career. So, thank you, it was awesome. With that being said, I really have no intention of arguing with anyone on the matter any further. Regardless of whether we agree or disagree, I just wanted everyone to know where each other was coming from. So, now that we got that out the way, from this point onward, we are going to be continuing our journey to Unreal Engine. For the next two weeks, we will be making a small pit stop at Substance Painter, but otherwise, Unreal is where I plan to set up base for the next couple of years. Now, the reason I picked Unreal as our destination is because there's just so many many new awesome technologies that are about to come out next year. Like we're talking AI 3D models, better images, AI texturing, AI rigging, AI animation, AI video, AI special effects, and Unreal really is the perfect sandbox that we can just put all those pieces together in whatever way we want, after we get comfortable with it of course. So we're going to optimize a super smooth workflow from Blender to Unreal. And then once we're there, I'll start to figure out as much of it as I can and document and share everything I learn here with you guys on the channel. Realistically, it'll probably take about six to nine months to settle in, figure stuff out, and get comfortable with the new engine. And in between that time, new technologies are definitely going to come out. And when they do, we'll take a pit stop for two or three weeks at a time to check them out and see if they're worth incorporating into our new workflow. There's a really high chance that a lot of things in our workflow are about to get massively improved with the introduction of new AI software. But the mission for this channel has always been the same. My goal has always been to teach you how to use whatever Ever software gives you the best results in the shortest amount of time with the least effort at an affordable price. And I fully intend to continue this mission in order to create as many awesome things as possible and help you do the same. But periodically I think it's important to just come together and celebrate all the cool stuff we're working on. So every couple months I'm gonna host a community AI art gallery video where we all just show off our favorite generations or works that I'm sure we all have that nobody else has seen. Because it occurred to me that I can't possibly possibly be the only guy who has thousands of really cool images just sitting on his computer waiting for a good excuse to be shared and displayed publicly. So I was like, hey, every couple of months, let's just have our own gallery demonstrating our favorite AI images and just have fun seeing what everyone else is up to. So this will basically be an AI art exhibition. The images for the footage will be AI, the thumbnail's gonna be made by AI, and we're even gonna use AI music for the background. So if you would like to submit your piece to the gallery video, just tag me on Twitter, and depending on how many people make submissions, I'll do my best to fit yours into the video. And don't worry if you don't have anything to submit. Worst case scenario, I have more than enough images to fill up the first video on my own. I just wanted to open the floor up to everyone else to get some variety. The rules are simple. The image must have at least partially been generated by AI. It's fine if you edited or outpainted or did some human touches. Pieces that are a hybrid of AI and human work are totally fine. Completely AI generated images are totally fine fine, just something in the image has to have been generated by AI. The only other rule is that the image cannot be a pixel perfect carbon copy of an existing image. It's fine if it's similar or close or transformative, it just can't be a perfect copy of someone else's work. So just do a quick reverse image search to make sure it's unique and original before submitting your art. If you want to share your prompts, that's awesome, but it's not required. And it doesn't matter what the engine is, you could make your images with Dolly, Stable Diffusion, Mid Journey, Novel AI, Crayon, whatever. The only thing I ask is you name your work, so give your piece a name. And if possible, tell me what engine you used to create it and if it's pure AI or a human AI hybrid. If you give me that information, I'll make sure it appears next to your work when it appears in the video. And don't worry if you're not a real artist or if you're a professional or just some dude that loves awesome art. If you just like cool pictures, you are in the right place. And you are welcome to make yourself right at home here on the channel. We're glad to have you here and I cannot wait to show you what we got in store for the future. So, as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.